Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. We play 52 Pickup this week on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 112, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Town, but before we get to the heart of this artichoke of a podcast, let's find out what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What did you achieve? Bobby, no. <laughs> it was an easy um, one. I was there for the taking. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> I uh, hit level 20, which is the max level in Destiny. Nice. Um, well, it's the, the max experience level. You can... Go up to 30 with uh, uh, equipment and everything. Um, and I also beat the story mode or the storyline of Destiny. Um, I started playing uh, Secrets of Monkey Island. Um, really weird playing that on the Xbox. <laughs> I, I gotta say. Did you, um, wait, did you play it when it was like point and click the first time? Mm-hmm. It's point and click this time. Too. Oh, oh no. Um, but but the, yeah, the, the, the first time I played it. Uh, the first time I played it, it was on DOS, and it was point and click, um, and it was the the eight bit the pixel graphics. Um, the cool thing about the Xbox version is that uh, you can switch between uh, cleaned up graphics and uh, the the pixel, and you actually get an achievement for doing so. So, um, but so yeah, that's that's pretty much so. Um, trivia crack. Uh, which you can see my review at insertcointobegin.com and play me because I don't have enough people playing me. That's about to change this week. Good. Do it. I I purchased the game. Why did you purchase it? I have not opened it yet. Oh, Destiny. I was talking about Trivia. Oh, you were talking about Monkey Island. That's right. No, I was talking about Trivia Crack. Oh, oh, okay. (laughs) I see. So confused. I was two games behind. If you purchased the game, then great. Me, you, and Riz can finally do raids. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got Destiny, but I haven't opened it or installed it yet. So I'm sure. So <laughs> I've been busy. But yeah, that's what I achieved. Sorg, how about you? I played some video games this week, guys! Hey! hey! I got into GTA. I played some Motocross Madness, which was like a free game two months ago, I think. Um, a lot of stuff going on on the phone. I did download and start playing um, uh, Star Wars. Was it Star Wars Commander, I think? Um, which is kind of a top down y. I feel like it's like a Warcraft thing, but it definitely is starting to turn a little more into Simpsons Tapped Out, which has me a little concerned. Um, so I don't know how long I'm going to stick with that. What's that? I love when you're on The Simpsons now. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. (laughs) Um, but, uh, other than that, uh, super card and, uh, I think there was something else I was playing too. I can't remember right now. Um, but no, yeah, I'm back into video games, guys. I'm going to try to make a routine now that it's quarter outside and I'm not going to be on my back porch reading comic books on the iPad. I'll be inside playing video games. Awesome. All right, uh, Lunchbox, uh, welcome back, and what did you achieve this week? Hey everybody. I am glad to be back. I uh, I have also been playing Supercard. I won a Royal, not a Royal Rumble, a King of the Ring, um, and I got a uh, super rare Darren Young, which is a worthless card. Um, <laughs> but he's a pro. I, uh, yeah. He's a pro. Yeah. Worthless. Um, I started playing Sleeping Dogs again because that game is excellent, and I've always wanted to play it a second time. And I don't have any money to buy um, that uh, whatever Mordor game, the new Lord of the Rings game. Yeah, Ooh, I kind of want to play it. Which I've heard good things. Um, and also, I have been playing a game called Clicker Heroes, which we'll talk about a little bit later. All right. Nice. Uh, I, I like I said, I bought Destiny. Haven't played it yet. Um, and I was, I've been playing, uh, more mobile games this week. I played, uh, super card. I got second in a King of the Rings tournament and I got a, uh, super rare pro version of triple H. Nice. Um, and I got Brock Lesnar in the, the tournament thing. So, uh, that's pretty cool, but I got both of them and, um, I'm running with the tag team of, of Brock Lesnar and Rusev. The, those, they are my tag team. <laughs> So, which is an odd combination, but that would be devastating. That would be a devastating tag team. But that's for another show. Um, 
but we're going to get into uh, more card uh, games uh, later in the show. Uh, Chach, I believe you had a Twitter question for us? Yes. A uh, friend of the show and probably one of the people I interact with most on Twitter now, um, Buddy Landell at Landell3, uh, has a question for the panel, and it's, do you think it is right or wrong to use your young kids to farm for your destiny character? <laughs> um, a little background, because uh, I talk to him a lot, and he really he is really into Destiny and has been since before it came out. Um, but last week when they had the uh, what I dubbed the Cave of Wonders, um, the mm-hmm. loot cave, apparently when he had stuff to do, he would run there. And give the controller to his young son <laughs> and just right. tell him to keep shooting. That's amazing. <laughs> um, does, that so quali- does that qualify as child labor? I don't know. No, he's not paying the kid. No, that's true. It, it, it's one step away from uh, being a, a Chinese or Japanese or uh, Asian farmer. <laughs> okay, I have a serious question for my cat right now. Penny. If I ha- have Destiny, she looked over at me. If I <laughs> would set up Destiny, would you do that for me? Her ear twitched a little bit. I'm gonna take that as a yes. That's a yes. <laughs> I, I I I think it's it, I think it's not. I don't think it's wrong. Um, you can you, you're in sharing the gaming experience with your kid. Mm-hmm. So they're playing. I mean, it yeah. counts. So it seems to be good. Awesome. And uh, also from the chat, Wheels is mad that uh, he's he's excited about my career mode on WWE 2K15, 2K15 that was announced, uh, which is uh, basically a new career mode which takes you from NXT to the the uh, to WrestleMania and the championship, but it's only for PS4 and Xbox One, which kind of sucks. That's yeah. Infuriating. Yeah, that's kind of sad. So, all right, uh, Chachi, you want to take us around the net? Yes. It is time for this week's edition of video game theme things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. net. Uh, runners up this week. Uh, New York Times has point, or New Yorker has pointed out that terrorists are using first-person shooters to spread their message. Oh no. Um, says, and this is from a report, uh, uh from infor, uh, promotional material. Yeah. ISIS has promotional material um, that says, join our life that is better than that game Call of Duty. Oh, jeez. This is our Call of Duty, and we respawn in Jana. Wow. Uh, (laughs) Another ISIS video uh, looks like uh, homage to Grand Theft Auto. And it, they're constantly using Call of Duty audio and video spliced into their videos. Um, it, saying, basically, if you join us, you'll get to shoot things. Um, so if I, if I join my local gun club, I can shoot things, too. That doesn't... <laughs> right. You're also, you're also not in the Middle East. Yes. So. Yeah. yeah that's... Um, so, yeah, that's a thing that's happening and kind of terrifying. Also, we have a counteract <laughs> story for that later, so... Um, we'll, have, we'll have that later. Uh, the other runner-up this week is in not connected to Sword playing the game, but uh, Star Wars Commander has <laughs> been rated to have the best uh, pop-up asking you to rate the app. Oh, I saw this. Yes, it's amazing. Um, it, it's a, a pop-up of Obi-Wan, and it says you want to rate this app with two <laughs> options. Uh, your mind powers will not work on me, and I want to rate this app. The best. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I I agree with it. That's pretty much the best one yet. <laughs> um, so let's get to the actual post. Uh, so a guy used a power glove uh, and some other electronics to control a LED light suit. Wow. Um, so essentially, what happened is he used a a little light control, reprogrammed it to. <clears throat> uh, basically react to hand motions that he makes while wearing the power glove. And it's LED light strings that run from his hands to his feet. 
um, and it's pretty amazing. The the first like eight minutes is him uh, explaining the the process that he took to create it, which is kind of interesting if you are into that type of thing. Um, if not, fast forward and just see him control this light suit with his hand. That guy's, power. that guy's making Tron a reality. Well, I, I said raving <laughs> has reached its final form. <laughs> you know what um, else? You know what else? Dare I say, that is rad. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, so, yeah, raving has reached its final form. N no more are the days of glow sticks <laughs> and manual hand motions when you can just squeeze and open your hand and control an entire body of light. Sweet. Uh, next up, one of my favorite YouTube channels, uh, the Game Theorists, have put up a new video, and it's uh, Which Link Rules Them All. Uh, essentially, they go through every instance of Link through the Legend of Zelda uh, series and using several key components, uh, accessories, uh, adventures, uh, what the adventures were, and uh, uh, sword skills to determine which, which instance of Link would be the strongest version. Um, at 14 minutes and 30 seconds, it's definitely watch, worth the watch if you have the time. I'm not going to spoil spoil it for you. I um, hope, the, I hope the, the CDI version wins. <laughs> I'm, I'm Excuse not, me, princess. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it for you, uh, but the uh, Phantom Spirit, the Spirit Tracks version, mm -hmm. doesn't win. Oh. Uh, train, train Link is not the strongest. Does you get the uh, weakest link? You are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a joke that's made. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, and no. last but not least, uh, coming in at a minute and 56 seconds, uh, someone recreated a Hotline Miami. Uh, if you're unfamiliar nice. with it, it's a m messed up game for the PlayStation. <laughs> um, tons of violence. Uh, it's, I, I don't even know how to describe it accurately. It, it's a top-down, screwed-up game. Uh, but they recreated it with paper. So, <laughs> I, I mean, the fact that they did that it is incredible. It takes so long to do something like that. Um, kind of like Paper Mario, but a lot more violent. And <laughs> paper, violent. paper Mario with violence. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Um, so, yeah. Extremely violent and bloody content if you're not into that type of thing. Ooh, sticker star. And that's all I have for you this week in video game theme things from around the internet. Next, 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 next. Back to you, Bobby. All right, guys, it's time for some news bits and some things you should be made aware of. Uh, Destiny's DLC um, was leaked this week in a bug in the game. Um, but the, the, uh, Bungie's going on to say that the DLC is actually what is coming in Destiny. Um, the Dark Below and uh, Crow to End, I guess. Is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Dark Below and House of Wolves are the two DLC packs that are coming. Um, they said they're not ready yet, so it is, it's going to be a while. Um, but it's pretty cool that like a, a glitch like that would like, and they them actually fessing up to that. Yeah, this is this is coming, so you have to be patient, wait for it, but. There's DLC coming. Well, uh, Bobby, if you had opened the game, mm -hmm. you would have seen that there's DLC coming. Well, yeah, but they didn't announce what the names were or anything yet. Yeah, they did. Did they? Hold on. Please hold. I, I, I'm reaching over. I'm grabbing oh. my, my, my Destiny case. And you open it. And uh, right there on an insert... Oh, okay. Expansion pack one, the dark below. Expansion oh, maybe then the names. But, oh, the the yeah, the leak was what the the missions are going to be like, I guess. I don't know who cares. So. <laughs> but they said they but said yeah. it's accurate, and that's what they're going to be like. It's not finished yet, so. Well, right of course it's not finished yet. They just released yeah. the game. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a while. <laughs> um, also. Hollywood is planning on making a movie about one of our favorite games in, in our childhoods. If, I, if you had to guess what game would you guess if you don't know about the story? 
What, what, what game do you think I'm talking about? I'm Rakus from the uh, movie podcast. Yeah, I read the story. <laughs> right, oh, I it... didn't read the story. Okay. I saw the headline. Okay. So I also can't answer it. Yeah, yeah. it's it's Tetris, Bobby, make guys. Your... Oh. It's Tetris. Should have made your cat guess. <laughs> She's sleeping. Uh, um, but yeah, they're making a movie out of Tetris. Um, and 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 the the weirdest part about this is this, this is the, from the same people that brought us Mortal Kombat. So. Ooh. Yeah, from the nineties. Christopher the same, Lambert is the L piece. <laughs> that would be amazing, actually. Um, oh. But uh, it's it's being developed by the same producer that that, that oh, the Mortal Kombat, Kombat film in the nineties. Um, so yay, go Tetris! But it's gonna be a big sci-fi movie, which is I don't know how they're gonna do this. Uh, much like they did with Battleship. I think that's exactly how they're gonna do it. I just I why that one didn't work. This one it, it can't just be Tetris. Like there was a, there's a short on YouTube that I saw called like uh-huh. Blocks or something like that. Oh, that's and that it's... movie's coming out too. Oh, this is oh dear. Yeah, the yeah. only way this will work. And I just had to look up the, the name of the movie to, to so I could say this. But the only way this would work is if it's some kind of, like, uh, horror thriller movie, uh, like uh, The Cube. And, and if you're not familiar with The Cube, uh, seven people are placed yeah. into a cube, and they have to avoid uh, deadly traps and... It- uh, it, solve puzzles to survive. If you've never seen Cube, do it. See Cube. It's an excellent movie. So the only way the Tetris movie would work is if it's something like yeah. that. Or, or or like the American Gladiators Assault Course, when that kind of looked like Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> but but he, here's an actual quote from the story. It says, Brands are the new stars of Hollywood. We have a story behind Tetris, which makes it much more imag- and it much a much more imaginative thing. So good on ya. You know, there was an episode of Captain N where he went into the land of Tetris, <laughs> and all these locks had different personalities. Maybe not- maybe they'll base it on that. I hope not. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. So I have two more things to say about this, and okay. then we can move on. Because okay. I'm just getting more angry as, <laughs> as we, we talk about this. Um, one, this is why Nintendo won't let Hollywood make a Legend of Zelda yep, movie. Exactly. Two, Hollywood, stop ruining nice things. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. All right, let's 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 please move on. Or I'm All just right. going to increasingly get angry Chachi, every here, time someone says a word about this. Here's a story that might make you happy. And it might not make you happy, depending on, you know, how you're feeling. Um, the first a- Assassin's Creed action RPG just launched for the iPhone and iPad. Okay, that's part one of that might make, make might make you sad. Part two is it's only available in Australia and New Zealand. Well, what the? It's 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 a soft launch. The game is supposed to launch next year. Um, it's going to be a full launch next year. You but know, it's it's called Assassin's Creed Identity. They're so they're doing it. a similar soft launch apparently for Angry Birds Transformers, and it's driving me insane. <laughs> okay, hey Bobby. Yes. Remember that time about forty five seconds ago? Yeah. yeah. Where you said, "Here's a story that will probably might make you happy." Make you happy? <laughs> I said, "Might." Yeah, Bobby. I, I don't know. This this show is not going well for me. <laughs> like, so I, I got to do I got to do video game themed things and it was good. <laughs> and then you brought up Tetris the movie. He's got yeah, that I banner know, going an for him and everything. And now you brought up an Assassin's Creed game that I can't play until next year. Next year, yeah, full launch next year. Um, hopefully for like Android and and iPad and iPhone. Well, see, uh, I don't even care if it's for iOS only. Yeah, yeah. I have an iPhone. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. And <laughs> I don't really do much with it, honestly. But I, it's an I, RPG, I'm, though. I mean, that's and, fine. And this this hey, will make you. This might make you happier, though. Hey, guess Bobby. What, guess what else is coming for Assassin's Creed? Hold on, Bobby. What? You remember that game Stick Dive that we talked about on the yes. show a while ago? Yes, that, that game. It could be called Assassin's Creed Dive. 
<laughs> and I would play the game. Yep. It doesn't matter what the game is. It could be Assassin's Creed Angry Birds. Well, guess what? I'm about to make you happy now. There is an I Assassin's Creed version of Monopoly on the way. <laughs> so you can have a board game while you wait for while you wait for Identity and the new Assassin's Creed to be launched soon. They have too many <laughs> versions of Monopoly. It's officially licensed, but well, you, can play, you can you can play the Legend of Zelda one until the Assassin's Creed one comes out. So no, I'm go. gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get both of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna combine it with my Nintendo <laughs> Monopoly. <laughs> And I'm going to make Wait, a super it, video game. You should get four so you can make a square board that's, like, giant. <laughs> <laughs> you know how hard it would be to navigate the that board? That would be amazing, though. You'd be like, all right, you have to go down, <laughs> then left, then back up, and then right, and then down again. <laughs> well, if you get four versions of it, you can, like, maneuver it so you can actually have the whole board around <laughs> Maybe. We're overthinking this. Really? Hey guys, um, has Assassin's Creed Pirates always been free for iPhone? No. Yes. Oh, has it? Okay. Has it? No, I thought it, I thought when it came out it was. I thought like it was like I thought it was like five bucks. It's free yeah. right now. Oh, it was free. oh, nice. Oh, well, let's download it. <laughs> All right, and we we talked. About, you touched about but on about uh, them using first person shooters to recruit for ISIS. Um. It looks like um, an influ influential think tank uh, are looking to get help from a former producer of Call of Duty, or the director of uh, Black Ops 2, uh, Dave Anthony. He left Treyarch last year uh, in December to pres pursue other passion projects, like uh, he's going to make movies and stuff like that. But he's also helping to determine what the next big threat to our country is. Um, they're using him to determine what future attacks on America could look like. Um, since he since he did a lot of research for this in, in, in Black Ops 2, they wanted to get his input on what he thinks might happen. Um, so that's kind of cool that something like that a video game is giving to us on our military and on our and our uh, you know think tanks. Um, do you guys have any thoughts on this? Um, you think it's it, a good idea. It's interesting. I mean, you gotta think if you were the director of this thing, you did a lot of research to make it look that good, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so I guess they would kind of be the experts. Um, although isn't it really kind of akin to hiring a sci-fi writer to yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, to, way, to, you're not gonna predict to gonna consult happen. with NASA? You know, it, it, like yeah. like did, did Gene Roddenberry have a second job consulting for NASA? You know, I want I want actually. <laughs> <laughs> really? Actually, it's it's not a terrible idea. Like Bobby said, I mean, mm -hmm. they've yeah, done the um, research. They've done just yeah. as much research as some of the you know some of the experts that they rely on. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it can't hurt. Yeah. Well, see, here's the thing. Um, I have an intelligent answer to this. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, the girlfriend is in school for uh, information. Uh, government information services, mm -hmm. something or other. It's called Gispia. Um, it's essentially what you do. Um, you look at current situations and assess threats. Um, this it, this isn't new. They're just reaching out to a new avenue to do it. Because, um, I mean, there's roomfuls of guys uh, and girls. I don't want to get sexist. Persons. Uh, Say persons. Yeah. There, there's room f rooms full of people that just sit around and do exactly that. And cats, right? Penny? No, no cats. <laughs> cats don't have thumbs. You have to be able to type. Oh, it doesn't work, Bobby. Sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it, it doesn't surprise me. And it's about damn time. Yeah. I mean, it, it, like we all said, it, it can't hurt to like at least have somebody that, that researched – well in you know all this stuff really well we you know he had to be for the video game i mean he's he's I mean, he, it's a think tank he's not making decisions yeah. he's yeah, saying yeah. hey how about this idea and they give it to the, mm -hmm. the experts and they can look at it and be like yeah maybe or pass yeah gloria moral pass <laughs> all right uh lunchbox i think you have a game you want to talk about i do uh it's uh it's this obscenely addictive game called Clicker Heroes. You can find it at clickerheroes.com. It's kind of a like kind of simplified RPG, um, and it's a 
I don't think it's Flash. Yeah, maybe it's Flash. Who cares? Um, it's the Flash. Idea it's is, Flash. The idea is you're a hero and you're fighting monsters. And to attack the monster, you click on it, you do damage, right? Yeah. And then you uh, get gold from every monster you defeat. And then you hire other heroes to join your party to boost your damage, whether it's the damage of your clicks or the damage of your just general damage that happens to the monsters over time. And you progress from level to level to level and you get all these different heroes and level them up and all these different powers and level them up. And it's colorful and exciting and the music is good and the sound effects are good. And it's, it's hopeless. I'm stuck. I'm stuck (laughs) on this game. I'm, I'm, actually playing it right now wow i'm playing it as we speak while we're doing the podcast wow that's it's amazing i don't need another game to get addicted to Uh, it's bad enough i have five it is just super good you should definitely check it out at clickerheroes.com uh but only do it when you have I don't know, an hour or lifetime to spare. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop. Oh, no. I was just demoing. Now I'm addicted. Sword has been claimed. <laughs> yep. I'll make All it right. stop. Well, speaking, speaking of addi- addictive games, uh, we're going we're gonna, to uh, put this together with our final round question. Um, did you guys play card games when you were, were, were younger, like Pokemon or Magic or uh, any others like that? Well, I mean, um, what? I want you to look at the group of people that you're talking. I know, to. I know, I know. We, I know we all have. The answer um, may surprise you, actually. And have you played the video game versions of any of the card games you played when you were younger? Yes, and okay. still do. All right, um, the, reason, the, re- the reason I bring this up, uh, it was announced uh, that the Pokemon games are on, or the card games, not the Pokemon games themselves, but the collectible card games are on iOS. Nice. Uh, and 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 it looks amazing on there. Uh, I don't know how to play. I've never played the Pokemon games, so I don't know if I'd be interested magic? in this. I've Did never played, played magic? magic either. I, the oh, only okay. the only card game I played when I was younger was Overpower by Marvel. Oh, okay. you know I had an yeah. Overpower deck, but I never and had anybody to play it with. We we got kicked oh, out. We got kicked so... out of our local comic shop for playing Overpower and fighting. <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> So that's how my card ga- card game history goes. Which is amazing because um, most comic book shops are set up around people yeah, yeah. coming to play those things <laughs> and fight now. Yeah, we get, we got kicked out. Um, but also Hearthstone uh, announced. Uh, I know well you played Hearthstone. Yes. Um, which is the World of Warcraft uh, collectible card game from Blizzard. Yes. Uh, they are going to be adding over a hundred new cards with their next expansion pack that's coming out for the game. Uh, so that's pretty cool too. Um, but but do you got what what collectible card games do you guys play, um, and do you think they're fun? Do you think they're they're a waste of time? Do you think they're you know what do you think of collectible card games? Do you prefer them to the the actual card holding the cards in your hand? Um, I I still I played Magic in the past and I still play it every now and then. Um, and I prefer the actual physical version. I feel like they haven't done a video game version that really, really captures it. You know what I mean? I haven't played mm-hmm. them all, to be fair. But uh, I, like you said, I did play Hearthstone. That was a lot of fun. Um, I played Versus when it was a thing. Um, and uh, I would love for a digital version of that because you can't find the cards anymore. Um, but uh, I don't know. Aside from Hearthstone, I've never played a video game version of a card game that I really that really got me you know I, I I played I played magic both physical cards and video cards um and I played Pokemon uh physical cards I haven't played any didn't know that if there were any uh video card versions that just came out this week on iOS because I didn't find it yeah I, th- I think it's it's supposed to either it's out on iOS or it's coming out soon. Okay. Um, but I uh, yeah I I don't I I just can't get into card games oh, like seriously. It's, it's it's iPad only. Okay, that would explain. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Um, but I I can't I I don't know I I was never into it enough to have boxes and boxes full of cards or binders full of cards. I I just can't couldn't do it. 
Um, I, I know we're all playing the WWE version of this, uh, Supercard, which they don't actually have physical cards for Supercard, but they may come out with s some cards later. Um, do you I, guys I think lied. they would do that? I lied. I play the shit out of Supercard. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> forgot about well, that one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I too, but um, no, I wouldn't, because once again, I, I, I don't collect comics. I don't collect... Um, I, I don't collect cards. It, it's just not something that I can see myself doing. Um, it takes up way too much space, and I really don't want to give my space to that. Um, I asked people in the chat room. Uh, Riz said he plays Supercard, um, and he also and uh, he also said Pokemon Stadium. No, Riz, no. Um, and Matt Carlin says he plays Cribbage. So, uh, is that Cribbage. the video game version of Cribbage or the? Uh, Matt Carlin's the, a the regular eighty. Cribbage version. <laughs> what the hell is cribbage? Cribbage is a card game in which old people play. Put some canasta. Can I, is there an canasta. iPhone version of canasta? Oh, there hold is. On. I'm looking so. up cribbage. I don't know what the hell cribbage is. I'm looking it up. Who wants to play pinochle? Hey, I used to play pinochle all the time when I was when I was a kid. That game was awesome. <laughs> all right. Well. There is an iPhone Canasta game. Oh, oh my no. God. $2. <laughs> oh, no. That's too much. Wow. Oh, man. I already don't like this game. And the Wikipedia page hasn't even loaded yet. Wow. Cool. All right. Well, that's going to do there it for us. This is a peg game. Peg game? Yeah, it takes cards and pegs. Oh. Okay. Grouping cards in combination, which like gains points. Is that like um, those games at uh, Cracker Barrel? When you sit down at the table, you oh, play yeah. the peg jumping game? Because that would be awesome. I would buy the video game version of that game. So oh, darn me. Matt Carlin's is like 900 years old, so it's understandable. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for us this week, guys. Uh, special thanks to DJ Lunchbox for hanging out with us again. Uh, you can follow his tweets at at DJ Lunchbox. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. Um, you can also follow uh, DJ Lunchbox on his uh, podcast, Panel Riot, and at Panel Riot. Uh, and you can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. Uh, new articles going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.servitronmedia.com. Uh, special thanks to Mike Allen, uh, at Mike Allen PR for helping us with the notes and tweets all night. For at Sorgatron, at Chachi Says, I'm at Bobby FJ Town. Game over, everybody. Game over, yeah. <laughs> Do we use that every week now? Yes. Yeah. I kind of oh, like, like it. Uh, oh, it yeah. I, I like that. That's why we kept it. That's why I haven't okay. looked for one in like forever. <laughs> well, I, I, I use it to when I clip out the show because I give uh, intro and outro for each of those clips. Um, <laughs> I, I liked it. So. Because usually I, I used to use whichever one we used that week, and then I'm like, nope, this is the one I'm using forever. <laughs> so I have it say I have the intro and the out, that outro saved, and I just <laughs> copy them in. Nice. Okay. So yeah. All right. We'll be right back on. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. The Human Torch. <laughs> That's not our right. intro music. It is now. <laughs> Welcome to the new approved boss battle. <laughs> Mouth noise edition. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a fun one. I'm going to use that now. Uh.